Hello, this is Victor. I'm here with the fourth part on the painting tutorial of Lion L. Johnson. So in part one we did the base, part two I did the armor and the clothes, and in part three I have done all the details, the sword, and all the different details like the pistol and the backpack that you see here, so and as well the pe the uh, pelt and other things. So we are doing no part. This this part, this main body is now done. And in the next part, we are going to focus in on painting. Let me put this guy as this part aside. We are going to start painting the helmet. So here we have the helmet. Okay, I keep it um, apart, and I will start by painting the um, visor, the visor. Okay. So to do that, I'm going to use Mephisto red and as well corn red and we start with corn red applying a layer of corn red there okay so I'm taking corn red a little bit running out of because I need to change soon the wet palette okay this is the corn red I need We are going to start doing the eye, or well, the visor, I have to say. So we are going to apply it here. Okay, something like that. Okay, so it went a little too much here. But it's not a problem if you go a little bit too much. Let me show why. So now I'm going to use Mephiston Red. Let me see if I find it. I have it on my palette, but I want to show you the what here it is. So I'm going to use Mephiston Red. Okay, now I'm going to use an orange, 12 layer orange. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more of red on this eye as I did in the other one. So okay, I will do the same now. Now I'm going to use yellow. I'm going to use this one, a real yellow.
and to smooth all this I'm going to use no blood letter this is an, an old this one okay and I will glaze on top I'm going to highlight the helmet in the same way that we have highlighted the rest of the armor. So I'm going to use um, Eshing Bay and Mini Stratum. Okay, I will use Eshing Bay and Mini This is blue oro, sorry. Yeah, this Eshing Bay. Downstone and mini stratum gray, and I will have as well celestial gray. And for the super up highlights, I may use white. Normally, with these four colors, it should be enough. But of course, I have as well corpus black on the palette in case I need it for corrections. So let's start with the downstone. And I will do that. Here in the middle. And I will take Celeste away for the rivets. side okay I'm using our celestial way to highlight a little bit more some parts. Okay. 
Here are the tubes. You just apply administratum. Sorry, downstone. We are going to highlight these wing things. Corpus black now. Put some more. The wings, I will do them in the, the helmet wings, I will do them in white. So I want to go really dark next to the wings, so I have a nice contrast. That is why I'm correcting here that you have not when where I want it. I'm probably trying to be sure that they have a nice black frame for the wings. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Let's keep working with downstone. This time I will use this and I will do no ashing way mixed with some downstone. To make this part a little bit lighter, just on the top. And then imagine that the light will pick up more of this part. This. So at the end I'm doing like edge highlighting. Here there is a part where the painting that went well. The black templar, so I will apply 
no corvus pack. We have two more rivets, so let's put the rest away. Then we have some tube in the here. I will use no instead of downstone and mini stratum gray. Okay, and then I put down some sort of mini going in some parts. And if you go too thick, I wet this device, and then I will make it thinner. Corners, I can put a little bit of the rest of the way. Here I can add some ashy grain around these openings to make them pop up a little bit more. You want to go, you don't want to. With a super intense hair like that, prefer to be more subtle and they pop up because they are dark. Now I go back to and when they start to that I went too thick in this side I'm going to use no corvus black so I'm going to play like that and then like and then we have a thin edge highlight okay so let's do pop up this a little bit more. This is important. This will pick up more reflection than the English here. Here I went to white, I go, I'm coming now with downstone. Okay. Now I will take again a minister to gray. And just do this type of touch. To highlight all of these details. Next step, I'm going to use pallid witch flesh. 
and I'm going to do the wings. It's a little bit too dry. And now it's too thin, but we will have to do to balance the, the, the paint. So we are going to do two layers. We have a nice and nicely done white. Okay, so we will do two layers of this to have a nice and thin white. And I'm back for the next step. So while the helmet is drying, I will work on the shield and I will work on the back first. So you see this all these parts here? I will paint them with iron breaker. So So we are going to paint all these parts, all these things. I mean, with iron breaker. Look at all this. Not everything. Some of the details of we see here. Okay, I do them and I'm back. Now I'm going to highlight all the other parts that we have on the helmet. I don't do this on camera because it's the same, so we use the same grace and we want to highlight that that we hand up like we have done on the helmet and as well on the armor. So I will do that and I'm back. So this is how the shield looks like. That we, I have done this type of edge highlight in there. We don't need to go too much because this is going to be hidden. And now I'm going to apply noon oil over the metallic parts. Okay, so just you don't need to be too fancy on this part because this is most of this is going to be non visible. So just And that should be enough at this moment. I let it dry. What I'm going to do next, this is how the wings look like, and I will do the same as I did on the backpack. I'm going to apply now Soul Blood Gray, the contrast. Like that. Oh, I have some blood contamination. Later on, we're going to go with white and do feather by feather to make it to make this the. Contest is stronger. Okay. 
window over here. And here, and now we let it dry before doing any further step. Okay, I will let all this dry and I'm back. Next step, I'm going to use retributor armor on the frame of the shield. Okay, and I'm doing that because I want to glue the shield. So I'm going to apply this here. <coughs> and when on the on the front part of the shield. Okay. So I'm doing back. This is just one layer. <coughs> oh, coughing. I'm doing that, uh, that and I'm back for the next step. So now this, the, um, the shield is glued to the, to the main body and while this, the glue is drying a little bit and so on, we are going to work again on the helmet. So I'm going to use Corex Blue White. Okay, Corex Blue White have a little bit of greyish tint. Okay, this one, Corex White. And we are going to go feather by feather on the helmet. And we are going to cover them with cor Corex White, okay? So we are going to do something like that. The main objective is to clean up the white. Right, the what we have done, leaving the recesses. In the darker green color. Okay. So I will be doing that. You can see by by one. One by one, sorry. Corex Y have a, a very nice covering, very nicely. Okay. I like quite a lot Corex White. You can see it looks much cleaner the part we have done, so I will do all the feathers and I'm back. Okay, next step I'm going to use pure white color, okay, in that case is from metal paints, from metal paints, sorry, and we are going to do like that, so I start from the top, and I will do edge highlighting on the feathers, this one is the first one, you have to do it on both sides, especially from top to bottom, the next one, I will just do that like that. And you can see here that the correct white have a greyish tonality. Okay. And we'll take a little bit of time, but especially on the helmet, you want to do that. It will pop up a lot. the white, okay? So I'm doing that. And then back for the next step. Okay, this is how the helmet now looks like. It's ready to glue. But I will keep it now like that. And I will go back to the shield. And on the shield now I will apply the burgundy. Okay. Like what is the name? Exactly the name. Have it all here. So this one we are going to play on the shield. Okay. Um, Baragnar Burgundy. And we're going to apply it 
Put some water. Yeah, I will apply over the shield. Okay, and I will not pay too much attention if I'm painting the the decoration by mistake. The important thing is to have a nice burgundy base over the shield. So on the different parts, okay? So I will do this like that. You can see it's quite thin. You can even go over the whole shield. And later on we are going to do the, the this lion. It's not a lion, it's a eagle. The eagle that is here. So I'm doing this and I'm back for the next step. Okay, the burgundy is done. And now I'm going to use Karak stone. And I'm going to do the eagle, the decoration that we have here. Okay. I was hesitating how to do that, but I think I will do a polychromatic decoration. I will not go only for gold. I think I will do if it's painted. Okay, so I apply a character stone as you can see. I will do the full shape and lead and over this we are going to start applying the colors. Then there is is biting the snake. Okay, also like the Mexican shield. It's like a symbol of that you are just eating the demons, no that you are. You're killing the demons. I think it's a metaphor that represents or the enemies of the empire. Okay, so I will apply this. A thin layer as well. And I'm back for the next step. Okay, next I'm going to use again relativity armor and I'm going to do this type of a star of sun that is painted uh, at the up the here. Now I'm going to use a snake bite leather and I'm going to paint over the eagle. I'm thinking if I will do this or I will do... I think I will do just the bottom of the eagle. Something like that. Okay, we have the snake. I just do a 
much paint here. I think this is the tail of the snake. It's quite. Yeah, this tail of the snake that is rounding around the eagle of the neck. Okay. No, my mistake I painted here because this is the tail of the snake, so we need to like that. I will take no war lining and I will do this Like that. Work with Napa a little bit. Where's the Karak stone color? Then the neck I want to do is one green, but a different green than the leaves. I think I will do the snake darker. I will use the dark angel green. And after doing the snake, I will wait that all these contours dry before doing the any further step. Because there's not, I can start mixing colors here and I want to avoid that. This is, I guess, also part of the snake. It's turning around the neck. Okay, I waited this way and I'm back. 
next step I'm going to use retributor armor and I'm going to paint another ornament that we have here this ornament here okay we'll do like that okay next I'm going to use no push up the bone and I'm going to do the patchments okay push up the bone Okay, thin layer. So I'm doing that. And I'm back for the next step. Okay, next step I'm going to use Dvachi Violet and I'm going to apply it on the purple part. to create a little bit of depth and as well in enhance the shades okay, to If you go a little bit over the purple, don't worry, I over the gold, don't worry. Because it's a nice shade as well for gold, the purple. Okay. And again, it's time that you work with wash or contour space. And be sure that everything is dry before you work next to it and as this is touching all the parts in the shield okay except maybe I can work on the part no because when the, the, the purity seals are touching a little bit so I will wait that this dries perfectly and then I'm back okay the wash have dry and now I'm going to use a seraphine sepia and I'm going to apply it over the head of the of the eagle some shades and then after that we will start doing all the highlights okay I do like that we are going to apply the same uh, shade of wash over the part we paint on the purity seals okay over the patchments of the purity seals Okay. 
And here what we can do now, as it's a very close color, I don't think I will bring I will, I will do first one thing. So we'll take the same Ushapti bone I have here and I will clean up the beak of the eagle especially here. I put some green by mistake, purple, to be sure that is sharp. And I will take a little bit of white and I will do the tongue and then the fangs of the of the serpent. Sorry, of the snake. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to use this one, Reglan Play Shade, and we are going to do the gold parts with this color. Okay. This is why I say here, even if it makes a little bit on this part, it's not going to be super visible because this two this tonality is very close to Seraphine Sepia. But for gold, I like this more than the Seraphine Sepia because I think it's you have this reddish touch that give I think give more it makes the the gold more interesting. As you can see, I go all around the frame of the shield. We are going to do as well this part here. Okay, and again we are going to wait at this device and I'm back for the next step. Okay, the previous layers are almost dry, so now I'm going to use um, purple. Okay, I'm going to use let's see, and I want to use red as well. So I will use, use flesh steel red and I will apply this here Okay, and we are going to do the tongue of the snake too. Okay, like that. Okay, next. I'm going to take this purple, Luxium purple, and I'm going to do the for the seals. Okay, and now I'm going to take a yellow, this one, Imperial Fist, and I'm going to do the beak of the eagle.
here and here. Now is a good time again. No, I will do another thing and then I will wait again that it dries, everything dries, and then we are going to start with the highlights. So I'm going to take a black templar and we are going to do the eagle eye. And we have all the base then to start painting. Uh, the black template I have here is to control the white. Here I have a new one. Okay, we have all the ways done No, and I will wait at all these dries and I'm back for the next step. Okay, now we are going to start with the highlights on the shield. Now I'm going to start from the purple, then we are going to, because it's the deepest part, and then we are going to work on the, uh, we are going to start progressing on the other colors. So for the purple, now I'm going to use the color lilac and Jen Stiller purple. Okay, these are the colors I have and as well Shereus purple. Okay, I have them on my white palette. We're going to take thin brush and I'm going to do some highlights. First of all, start with Jenna Stiller purple. Okay, we're going to highlight we'll have this. Then I take the color lilac. Okay, not too much. I don't want to do too much highlight. Just I will do use yellow stealer. Most of the parts. You don't want to be. I don't want to be too much. As I said, you want to do too much highlight. Just a little bit to add some color variation. And that's all, eh? Okay, now we are going to use white and Ushapti bone. We are going to highlight, start highlighting the head of the eagle. So start with Ushapti bone. I hear I still hesitating if this is... No, I think this is part of the chrome. So I will take... Sorry for this change. I will take again... Uh, warp lining and I will do... So I have the feeling this is part... These are not feathers, this is part of the chrome. Because the, the eagles does not have feathers going up. So I will use... Thing, no, but it's not a big deal. Need to avoid the device here, but I can just keep working on the other parts. Okay, so I will now take white. I will add all with white. So I want the, the, the head to be lighter in color using again. Ushapti. Okay, and 
then I will go that and closer to the eye. Now we take white and now we'll add some white in the eye ok I want to take thicker white to put like that, like a reflection dot. Okay, now let's work on the big, I'm going to take now a real yellow Well, Dorn Yellow. I don't need much of that. Dorn I will do like this and here I will just put some video like that No, I will take this one, the messy desert.
we are going to highlight the darker feathers. Mix it up with a little bit of more from brown, so you have the feeling it's too yellow. Okay, we'll use more from brown, and I will give a little bit more of the brown to tonality. Okay, now so we are going to take red, I am going to use Evil Sun Scarlet, or any, I will use better, this is what, Mephiston Red. Eastern red. We have it a little bit this. I'm going to use now the Kalalilak, same we used before, to highlight this on the shield. Now I'm going to use yellow, the same ideal yellow. And I will do the snake eye. Warpstone glow. I will highlight a little bit the snake.
Okay. The green half of the wine. I will use shadow purple. I will put a little bit here that I went a little bit on the purple with the contest paint. Okay, now it's clean. And now I will use mud green. I'll use wood green and I will highlight the leaves. We'll go back to Shapti one. Like this. I will use now a little bit of the wall uh, is layer orange. to be fair. I will give a little bit of highlight to the red. Now I'm going to do this as a gem. So I will start applying dark brown, it's Reno's height. Clean up a little bit the mistake with retributor armor. And I will make while this is drying, I will apply the retributor armor again to the frame of the shield to make it brighter, especially this part there and I will combine this with Auric Armor Gold as we did for the rest of the armor so this is very similar to what we have done on the armor I 
Okay, then kind of lighting. This type of decoration at the rim of the of the shield. And now we're going to use silver. And I will touch the rivet. And we uh, mix a little bit with our ammo vault. We are going to do this. I don't know if it represents a star or a sun. But the is the same. Okay. Let's go back to the gem. Remember we have applied Rhinos height and now I'm going to take red, my fist on red in concrete and I'm going to do like that. Okay, I did a little bit of a mistake but it's not a problem. We'll correct like that. Okay, because the darker part should go there. I will take a little bit of black. Like I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to take the um, five layer orange. And I'm going to do the opposite side. I will take a little bit of yellow. With fist on red. Now we take white. I do like this. A little bit of fire layer. Like that. I 
Now we can go on the parchment or the pretty seals. We have the bone, the same that we have used for the eagle, and everything we use for the beige color before we applied seraphine sepia before. Okay, so with the shafty bone, I'm going to highlight them a little bit from both sides, like this on the back. Okay, so I will do this as you can see, a little bit clean up. And as I have the messy desert as well on my palette, if needed I mix it with the messy desert to make okay, let's here I was hesitating if I do the extreme in gold, but as I will keep it as a, and the same color as the patch. Something like that. Okay. So I will do the other parts in the same way. And I'm back for the next step. Okay, now I'm going to use Rhinos Hide and we are going to do the writing on the so to do the writing you just simulate some dots, the regular lines. Ones. Okay. Okay, something like that is okay. And here we are going to finalize this part four, where we have done the helmet and the shield. So, um, Lion himself is done, and in the next part we are going to paint the little guys. Okay, these ones that you see are. I already start to do one, but as it's the same technique, just to see how it was looking like. So we are going to go for this type of color here, combining the cream and the purple, that they are the same colors we have put on um, Lion and Johnson. Okay. So please keep tuned if you want to see more, um, and yeah, and we'll come and uh, the fifth and the last part on the painting tutorial of Lion L Johnson. Thanks a lot for watching, and see you again later. Bye. Taking shots at the enemy I'm gonna make it to the top, leave a legacy If I got something to say, you better let me speak Turn it up a new degree, bitch, you ain't seen anything